Let me ask you a fun question. If uh, Hikaru Nakamura uh, was one of the two people, uh, what uh, I guess I apologize. Uh, for it, yeah, he could have he could have finished second. Yeah. So he lost the last round of the candidates. Yeah, and you uh, put maybe you can explain to me. Internet speak copium is something you tweeted. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but if he if he got second, w- would you uh, all, would you would you <laughs> just despite him still still play the world championship? That's internet question. And when the internet asks, I must abide the dude okay. abides. <laughs> yeah, uh, sure. Thank you, internet. <laughs> so after the last match, uh, I did an interview uh, r- right after where I talked about the fact that I was unlikely to play the next one. I'd spoken privately to both family, friends, and of course also my chess team that this was likely going to be the last the last match. Um, what happened was that right before the World Championship match, there was this young player, uh, Alreza Firuja. He had a dramatic rise. He rose to second in the world rankings. He was 18 then, he's 19 now. He qualified for the candidates. And it felt like there was like at least a half realistic possibility that he could be the challenger for the next world championship. Uh, and that sort of lit a fire under me. Um, so you like that idea? Yeah, I, I like that. I like that a lot. I love the idea of, of playing him in the next world, world championship. And originally I just... I was sure that I wanted to announce right after the tournament, uh, the match, that this was it. Yeah. I'm done. I'm not playing the next one. But this lit a fire under me. So that made me think, you know, this actually motivates me. And yeah. I just wanted to get it out there for several reasons. To create more hype about the candidates. Mm-hmm. To like sort of motivate myself a little bit. May- maybe motivate him. Also, obviously, I wanted to give people and people a heads up for the candidates that you might be playing for more than more than first place. Like normally, yeah. the candidates is is first place or bust. It's like the world yeah. championship. Um, yeah. And and then so Nakamura was one of ma- many people who just didn't believe me, yeah. which is fair because I've talked before about not not necessarily wanting to to defend again. But I never like talked as concretely or was as serious as this time. So he simply didn't believe me. And he was very vocal about that. And he said, nobody believed me, no other no, no players, which may or may have not have been true. And then, yeah, he lost, he lost the last game and he didn't, didn't qualify. But to answer the question, no, I'd already at that point decided that I wouldn't, wouldn't play. I would have liked it less. If he had, <laughs> if he had not lost the last round, but the decision was, but made. the decision was already um, was already made. Does it uh, does it break your heart a little bit that you're walking away from it in all the ways that you mentioned that it's just not f- fun? There's a, a a bunch of ways that it doesn't seem to bring out the best kind of chess. It doesn't bring out the best out of you in the particular opponents involved. Does it just break your heart a little bit, like? you're walking away from something, or maybe the entire chess community is walking away from a kind of a a historic event that was so important in the 20th century, at least. So I won the championship in 2013. I said no to the candidates in 2011. I didn't particularly like the format. I also wasn't, I was just not in the mood. I didn't want the pressure that was connected with the world championship and i was perfectly content at the time to play the tournaments that i did play um also to to be ranked number one in the world i was comfortable with the fact that i knew that i was i was the best and i didn't need a title to to show others um and what happened later is i suddenly decided to play um in 2013 i liked they changed the format i i liked it better um, I just decided, you know, it could be interesting. Let's try and get this. Um, there, w- there really wasn't more than <laughs> more than that to it. It wasn't like fulfill fulfilling lifelong dream or anything. I just thought, you know, let's let's play. Um, so it's just a cool tournament. A good yeah, challenge. It's, it's a cool let's cool tournament. Play. It's a good challenge. You know, why not? 
it's it's something that could be a motivation it motivated me to get in the in the best shape of my life that had been till then so it was a good thing uh and 2013 match brought me a lot of a lot of joy as well so i'm very very happy that i that i did that but i never had any thoughts that i'm gonna like keep the title for for a long time immediately after the match in 2013 i i mean also before the match i'd spoken against the fact that the champion is seeded into the final which i thought was unfair after the match i made a proposal that we have a different system where the champion doesn't have these privileges and people's reaction both players and uh, chess community was general uh, generally like okay we're good we don't we don't want that you keep your privileges and i was like okay whatever so you want to fight for it every time yeah i, I want that